The Tiny Red Ninja, Chapter 1, Part 1 of 300, The Ninja and the Whale. The Tiny Red Ninja woke in an old rudderless boat next to a giant blue whale. The whale sang a sad song, but the Tiny Red Ninja did not understand. So he sat and listened as the whale crooned and the moon sank into the horizon. When it felt right, the tiny red ninja waved at the massive beast, but was unsure if the whale understood the gesture. Seconds later, the whale sank into the sea, and the tiny red ninja was again all alone. The tiny red ninja spent the next few nights and days drifting aimlessly in solitude. For the first few days, he wondered if anyone missed him. But then, he began to wonder if anyone ever knew him at all. But mostly, he thought about the giant blue whale and its sad, lonely song. You're way off course. I mean, way off. Is that a tear? Are you crying? Do you need a hug? I'm translucent. There's nothing to, to substantially grab onto, but I can... I can try. What's, what's going on? Are you, are you okay? Wait. Did you come across a big blue whale? Oh no! You did! Was he singing? Oh, you were cursed with his song of sorrow! Oh! Look, the spell must be broken. It's gotta be. Because now you're not only off course, but you're, you're also way behind schedule. Now why are you drifting? Why didn't you use the map? There was no map, was there? Oh, this is bad. This is really, really bad. I gotta go see the king. Look, I, I hope to see you again. And you gotta get the sword. The black one. To break the curse. And hurry. I hope to see the you again. The tiny red Bye -bye. ninja slid to the damp hull of the boat. He stared up at the sky and fell asleep for what seemed to be only a second. But it was in that second that he traveled home and patted his cat Harry on the head. Harry purred. A second after that, the tiny red ninja opened his eyes to see that the boat had run aground. And when he sat up, he saw a monster. The tiny red ninja watched the black sword fall through time and space as the voice of the ghost echoed from all directions. He then watched the sword stab the ground and grow into a tree. What do you hear? I hear the grasshopper. Then, in a flash, he was himself but old, and somehow he knew the screaming monster had removed years from his life. He knew that he must move, but when he tried, his bones ached and shook. So he sat back down, even though the tide continued to rise. It was then that a giant stepped from the sky. He wore yellow rain boots and bellowed. I am here to destroy the tiny red ninja. Have you seen him, old man? Well, if you do, tell him you'll step on him, and the sooner the better. As the giant stomped away, the tiny red ninja realized that the screaming monster had saved him from the giant. But at what cost? The tiny red ninja walked for eight days without sleep, and on the ninth morning it rained. But the ninja did not stop. Neither did he know where he was going, or even where he was. 
A whisper from somewhere inside his head encouraged him to keep moving. And he hoped if he did, he would regain his youth and even return home. Home. The word echoed inside of his body, but without definition. He tried to conjure memories from his life before this life, but with every soggy step, his past became softer and further away. He tried to remember his cat Harry and the faces of his mother and father, but everything he thought he knew now seemed delicate and distant. How could it be, he wondered. Was Harry the fantasy or the giant in the yellow rain boots? Were the sleepovers with friends and the old movies on the black and white television at his grandparents' house real? Or was the massive blue whale? The tiny red ninja began to wonder if everything was a dream and if he had ever been awake at all. Home. The voice whispered again, but this time he was sure that the word came from his heart. And even though the tiny red ninja wanted to stop, he continued forward. 